All right, Red Sox back up in the top of the seventh inning, facing, well, it looks like Andrew Miller again, as Sandy Leone comes to the plate. Drew Pomeranz was admittingly impressive in his last inning, striking out the side, and so he has kept the Red Sox down by two, should be one. Uh, I think I mentioned this in one of my Mets rants from last year. I just, I hate, you know, I gotta sit here and calculate how many outs there should be and what the score should be because the umpire screwed it up. Like, shouldn't it be their job to make sure the game runs correctly? I mean, I thought that was their job, but anyway. Red Sox down 5-3 to three in the 7th, facing Andrew Miller again, who's back from the 5th and the 6th inning, facing Sandy Leone in the bottom of the order. So, 1-1 one one the count, and swings and misses at that one, 1-2. One Tell you what, I'm exhausted. Like, I was, like, so full of life when this game started, and after that terrible first inning, and ever since then, I've just been, like, drained. Like, I'm just tired already of this game. But hoping the Red Sox can pull something off here. I don't know who the Indians have after Andrew Miller. I, I forget who their closer is. So that one is well outside the strike zone. But obviously, you know, they got Andrew Miller for a reason, and they're using him in, a, you know, what is essentially a high leverage situation here with the Red Sox. You know, they were threatening back when the game was 4-3, to three, and they brought Miller in to kind of stop the damage. And, oh, did make contact with that, but hit it back to Miller, who throws him out at first for the first out. You know, I still go back to that last inning. I could swear Bogarts fouled that pitch off. That was supposed to be strike three. But, I, again, it's just so stupid. It's stupid. Did I mention it's stupid? Like, it just, you know, sit here and try to analyze the umpires. But, I mean, if nothing else, maybe the Red Sox are running up Andrew Miller's pitch count so he won't be available for game two. Maybe that's John Farrell's master plan. The genius himself looking out in anticipation of another stupid move he can make. Although to this point, bringing in Drew Pomerantz hasn't blown up in his face. And I can't really blame John Farrell for any of this game. I mean, you know, it's not his fault the umpires suck. Benintendi had a home run. Thankfully they called it a home run. It didn't say it was something stupid. And it didn't get a home run that time. He swung and missed. Benintendi, another overrated prospect, but he wasn't too bad in what little I saw of him this season. Terry Francona showing why he's a better manager than Farrell at this point. And he swings and misses. Strike three. Two outs. I don't know why it looked like Andrew Miller was running off the mound like the inning was over. Well, maybe he is going to be off the mound because here comes Terry Francona to probably pull him out. So he does go about two innings in this one, having gotten two outs in the seventh. And that was clearly, I mean... <sighs> Penitenti was definitely overmatched in that at bat. I mean, that wasn't even close. It was like three pitches of just masterful pitching against Benintendi. He was just like, oh, I got my home run. I'm all set. Andrew Miller leaving the game to a standing ovation from Cleveland. Kind of can't blame him. Red Sox still down 5-3 to three in the 7th. Should be 5-4. to four. So we'll see how that one goes.